Salutations, loyal crew. This is your captain, Jolly Roger, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. And good morning to you, Deacon. How you doing? Doing well? Uh, so in the last episode, we did some work for the marshal, and do I hear gunshots? No? Okay. As I was saying in the last episode, we did some work for the marshal, and uh, now we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna do some work with Bonnie. Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Mr. McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. Of course. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> you can take, take the, the reins, reins. Mr. Marston. It wouldn't do for a bounty hunter like yourself, or should I say, the player, to be in shotgun. Almost buzzard food a couple days ago. Oh. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's really perhaps there's hope for you yet. Most of my risks are pretty oh, there's always hope, needful, Marston. not needless. Be a rancher in this kind of country if you Need don't some? That. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. Enigmatic. Uh, yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Ah! Oh. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. It's not funny. You have a strange sense of humor. I agree. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends. Aw. Farland. Oh, friends. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us. Why are my horses trying to run me into rocks? A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. I appreciate your father's use of unique idioms. We're here! So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Way to undersell your town here. I'm sure it's quite Most lovely. The thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. We I'm just now getting medicine? Fun. The first time I spoke to you, you were like, let's race horses! And now you're like, you should probably get some medicine! It's not what you sound like, but whatever. Hello, doctor. Need some medicine? And that's all. Can I sell some? Ooh, I could sell some armadillo meat. Sounds delicious. I remember when I used to live, uh, when I would go see my dad on weekends, um, we would we'd catch armadillos. Ah! What the hell was that? Who's shooting? Why are they shooting? What's what? What's happening? Is someone gonna explain? Okay, whatever. We're just done. We're done talking about it. Oh shit! What the fuck? You? What? I broke the. He was shooting me in the face. Retry from checkpoint. I'm upset. I'm angry. Out of my leg. All right. Anybody gonna shoot me now? Good. I didn't think so. I'm just gonna saunter on over to Bonnie. Anyway, like I was saying, my dad and I used to chase armadillos, and I would just willingly like reach into a hole that I believed an armadillo was in. Not safe. Don't do that. Thanks for driving me. 
It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. Yeah, this place is beautiful. You're welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might I've just been do. here. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Something happened with the narrative. She was like, you should go talk to the sheriff. And I went and talked to the sheriff. And I was like, hey, I talked to the sheriff. What is happening in this town? Then I came back to Bonnie and I was like, hey, I said some stuff to that guy. And she was like, have you been to Armadillo? Yeah, yes, Bonnie, I've been to Armadillo. We have this conversation. I'm gonna go purchase a new gun. That is the American dream. I do not have enough for that. Whatever. So, Strangers and Freaks are some of my favorite parts of this game. They add a lot to the... the world. Oh, they took my boy! My boy! Boy! He's missing! He's only a youngster! My boy is missing! Where? He's Who probably out just them chasing them girls. Hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock, they took it. <laughs> can't the police force help you? Oh, they can't even <laughs> the one we're standing in front of? If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. My main concern is that y'all are so cavalier about having a location called Hanging Rock, and that was the last place you seen your boy. Why would you left him? Why would you have left him? God. Ooh. Do we want to do? No. No. I'll, I'll save. I'll save the bounties for another time. I'll save the bounties for another time. We're gonna do. We're gonna do another Marshall mission. Another. Another Marshall mission. Marshall. Hello. Hello. Hi. Armadillo seven three one. What is it with these things? Hello. How many phones you got in Armadillo? Hello. Armadillo Hello. one. Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. Well, it's not, not even sure. plugged in anything. You just got, a, like, a loose hanging machine. Marshall! <coughs> Marshall! I just ah. ended up in the canyon, spying like Hello, you said. Hello, Twiddledum. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now? That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right. <laughs> you ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. It'd be my pleasure. Yeah, lady, I'll help you later. I I have official business to do. <laughs> I'm working with the marshal, okay? I'll find your boy later up in them there hills. How long you been working for the government, Marston? I don't work for the government. Well, I got a telegram from some federal clouds in Blackwater that says otherwise. Are you some kind of vigilante? You don't look like no government, boy. <laughs> I guess it's complicated. Jonah, stop talking. It impossible for me not to. You sure are a tight lip son of a bitch, mister. I guess I am. I ain't gonna dig this hole no deeper. Well, ain't you all proud and superior? Don't forget you need us more than we need you. Bill Wigson folded you up like an empty purse the last time, if I remember <laughs> correctly. Simmer down, Jonah. Listen to your boss, Jonah. There's a good boy. Otherwise, I'll put a hole in your hillbilly head and watch your tiny brain drain out. Jeez, John. He's just poking fun. You, Marson, I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Yep, now I reckon. We're nearly there. Keep your eyes Jonah. out for the ballers. 
Uh. All right, boys. Let's proceed on foot from here. You got it. Let's go. Proceeding on foot. Alert, boys. All right, chill out. Be ready, boys. We're probably going to be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. When do we get to kill them? Oh. Yeah. Oh, he got Damn. Okay. Ah! Man, the <laughs> your two deputies take a lot of gunfire, and that helps me a lot. Bam! Bam! Oh, I was about to shoot him. <laughs> Bam! Oh, your poor face. Your poor face. Man. I am sticking with you, Marshall. You're not old. Calm down. Uh, Marshall, you getting fired at. You should probably take care of it. There we go. Man, it was a hard time to have a face Where's back the in the West. The wet, Wild West. The Back in the, the olden times. Oh, oh, oh. It looks like we're the ones who are still coming. They're staying where they are. Bam! Oh, yeah, God. Are you gonna shoot any of these rustlers, boy? Excuse I bet you're all of these rustlers, boy! I'm giving you one last chance to put your hands in the air. I don't think they're gonna comply to this. Nice shot! Thank you. Apparently my gun doesn't reach that far. You're gonna pop my what? Sir, I think I think he wants to have sex with me. I think these are your average rustlers. These are butt rustlers. That's not. I don't want to ever say that again in my life. Could you maybe? Oh my God! Get oh fuck fuck! I'll go around it. I'll go around it, John. Shit. Keep your eyes open. I saw a couple of snipers across the way. Oh yeah. Look out! There are them snipers. Surrender. Fucking I'll where? Oh, I see. I see them now. Uh, man, you've got great eyesight, dude. Going across the. Ow! I have no cover on this fucking bridge. Uh, Marshall. Marshall, how come I'm the only one being shot? There's four of us over here! How come I'm taking all the bullets? D I'm sorry. Did I just shoot him in the face? And he just kind of recoiled. Just walk away. He was like, ow! My face. Oh. Ooh, crouch time, yeah. Hit him with the crouch. Oh, that is not crouching, John. Stop. Yeah, we're like invisible panthers. <laughs> Did the camp down there not hear all the gunfire that we were producing? Because there was a lot of it. Ooh, that's the wrong side of the rock to be hiding on, John. Okay. Am I following you? I'm going to make the first move. Well, I guess it's up to me. I'm a hero. Yeah. We're the law. We stand for. We stand for justice. Yeah. We stand for getting shot in the fucking face. I, I did get him good. Sorry, Eli. I, I really don't mean to make fun of you, but you're it's so easy. Your face is so dumb. Was that you or me? Bam! Yes. Oh my God. Ooh, wait, is that explosive? Boom! It didn't. It didn't really help me out in the end, but I mean, it, it blew up, and that's cool. Oh, hello. Thanks, It'd have been embarrassing if I shot you in the face. We're you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. You guys are rendered in much less definition than the rest of us. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, Thank you, Eli. Well, Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. West Dickens. He's missing. Ugh. Mr. West Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was due in town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who 
the Khan's housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. Can he fix your you eye? Marston, we just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. <laughs> Moo cow? Moo. I speak cow. Oh, I hate doing Wes Dickens missions. Oh, I can afford that new pistol now. Alright, Deacon. We're gonna go see Bonnie again. Actually, we're gonna go do that side thing near Hanging Rock because... Well, because I said so! Because I'm in charge! Because I'm a human! I'm your master! Deacon, we're going where I want to go! Don't you sass me! Because I'll, I'll... I'll kick you in the ribs with my spurs! I do that anyway, uh, but I'm going to continue doing it, and I'll do it immensely harder if you keep talking, back-talking me. He really is, like, finding his own paths in the game, and it's like he's, he's fighting my orders. Maybe I'm losing my mind. <laughs> oh, I have ridden myself into a canyon. I am not supposed to be here. Let's see. If I take a left here. There's some gunfire. I'm going to ignore it. Now it's somewhere out in the sticks. Or should I say the cactus? Cacti? That's probably right. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, what do we have here? It would seem I found that woman's boy. Search for clues. Ah! Yes, this is definitely a shoe. Not the size of a small boy, so the mystery continues. Nope, that's the end. <laughs> All right, we're uh, giving up on that. Though you've completed this part of the encounter, the story is not over. Check back at the sheriff's office in the future. In the future? Oh, yeah. The treasure map from the last episode. Let's see. Ooh, uh, yep. Mm hmm. Yep. I was only reminded of this because we're at Hanging Rock right now. So. This is where you find that. I'm going to show you on the map. Not sure if you're ever going to play this game, but this is where it is. So if you see here, there's a tree with a rope on it. That's where they hang people. And we're next to a big rock that is next to a smaller rock. I mean, these are huge rocks. Uh, then you go into this little crevice and you find um, obvi obviously interactable rocks. And uh, you got some treasure. Move those rocks, John. Yeah. Yeah. This could take a while. There you go. God, this takes forever. Now take a look at that. John, who are you yelling to? One of the best parts about this game is collecting the local flora. There we go. That's one. Way when you mold inside of your horse. That's great. Awesome. Hello, Armadillo. It's me, John Marston. I don't sound like this. Heard you used to be a duke in England. <laughs> oh, oh, who's causing trouble? Hey, hey, you cut that out! You better stop it! Oh shit! I am in over my heads! Boys, you can stop shooting now! I was just joking! Oh no! I have fallen in battle! Valhalla awaits me! That is the last time I try to be a hero. John, why are you standing like that? John, what are you doing? Anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Um, I'm Jolly Roger, this has been Red Dead Redemption, and remember that if you're gonna be very good, ta-ta. <laughs>